In this video, we are going to see how to enroll students in online course host.com from new Facebook lead ads. So here you want that every time a new lead is received through Facebook lead ads, then you want that with the details that you have received of the user, the same user should be enrolled as a student in online course host.com, which is an online platform for selling and creating courses. Now, how can you do this? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. So here your trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and your action application will be online course host.com. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached a landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you do not have an account with us, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is every time I receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then I want that particular lead to be added as a new student to be enrolled as a new student in online course host.com. So I'm going to name it as enroll students in online course host for new Facebook lead ads. Let's click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window, which has got to extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here will be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this and the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run here. It would be new lead instant. So basically this workflow is going to run when a new lead is submitted in specified lead generation form associated with my Facebook page. So I'm going to click on this. So as I do that, and I click on connect. So here you can see that Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Facebook lead ads account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection. Now I'm going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. So I already have logged into my Facebook account. So I'm going to click on this. And as I do that here, you can see that the authorization has been successful. This is because I already had logged in. So when you are setting up this connection, please make sure that once you have logged in, then only you are doing this. Now here we have to mention the page name and the lead generation form associated with it. To understand this, let me first take you to my Facebook account. So this is my Facebook page here on the left hand panel. You can see pages. Let's click on this and you can say that I already have created a lot of pages. Now here I have created a page Laksh coaching classes. I'm going to choose this one going back to Pabli Connect here. I'm going to mention Laksh coaching classes. Now, since there is only one lead generation form associated with this particular page, so it has already been captured by the system. Now, as I click on save and send test request, here you can see that it is waiting for webhook response. Basically, now what I have to do is I have to do a test submission. So I have to fill in a lead generation form so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. To do the same, I'm going to go to Meta for developers page here. Let's go to my applications. Then we are going to go to tools. Here you can see lead ads RTU debug tool. Let's click on this. Now, as I do that here, you can see this is the lead ads testing tool. We have to use this tool to test our integration and we can also create a test lead to confirm that our integration is set up to receive data correctly. Now here I'm going to look for Laksh coaching classes. So here it is. As I click on this, you can see that the form has already been captured. Now we have to click on preview form. So as I do that here, you can see that the form has opened right in front of us. Now I'm going to enter the details. Let's say the email address here is smartuser at pablitudes.com. And then here we have the full name, which is smart user. Now let's enter the phone number. This is just a demo number. And now I'm going to click on next. 
as I do that here it is giving us the terms and conditions let's click on submit and as soon as we do that here we can see that our form has been submitted successfully going back to public connect let's understand if we have received the API response and yes here you can see we have received the response this here is the email address then we have the full number we have the phone number this is the created time then here we have the ID form ID then as I take you down here we have the lead generation ID page ID form ID entry ID and entry time now once I have received this data what is my objective now my objective is that the user who has just filled up this form should be enrolled as a student in onlinecoursehost.com. So my action application here would be onlinecoursehost.com and the action event here would be to enroll a student. Let's click on connect. As I do that here, Pavli Connect is asking to connect itself with onlinecoursehost.com account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection. Now here we need an integration token to set up this connection. To do the same, first we have to log in to our online course host.com account. Once we have done that, we have to go to admin. So let me show you the same how we have to do this. So this is my online course host.com. Here we have to go to admin. On the left hand side, you can see settings. Let's go to integrations. And now as I scroll down, you can see Pabli integration. So here is the Pabli integration token. Now I'm just going to copy this, go back to Pabli connect and paste this over here. As I do that, let's click on save to set up this connection. Now, as this is done here, you can see that Pabli Connect is connected with onlinecoursehost.com and now we are supposed to fill up this information. First of all, the student's name. So, I'm going to map this information. How? As I click on this, you can see the previous response. And as I click on this, this is the full name of the student. So, the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And it is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now comes the email address. Again, I'm going to go to the previous step and this here is the email address then we have the course ID so here if I show you the courses so I only have created a single course the name is Pabli test course that's why it has already been taken by the system so here let's say that you had multiple IDs then you could have selected from the drop down you can you could have also turned on this mapping button and you could have mapped the course ID as well so next is password now here it is written that you have to enter a password which should contain at least six characters an uppercase lowercase and a number for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a password capital P C and then go to step one and as I take you down this here is the entry ID so this is going to be different for all the form submissions that's why I have chosen this so once this is done let's click on save and send test request and as I do that here you can see the account has been created successfully so the data course is Pabli test course and the data email is this now I'm going to take you to onlinecoursehost.com. Let's go to admin again. And here you can see manage students. Let's go here. And as I do that, let's check. And yes, smart user. This particular user has been created. So here we have the details. This basically means that our integration is a success. But we also need to check the same in real time. So for this, I'm going to go back to my lead ads testing tool. I'm going to close this and delete the previous lead so once you have deleted the lease remember that you have to refresh this page and now once this is done i'm going to again look for lakshh coaching classes and here it is now let's click on preview form so here is the form now let's fill in the details let's say the email address this time is dummy new at pabli tutes.com dummy new one two three and here is the phone number which is now let's click on next and submit now as soon as i submit this what should happen automatically this user should be enrolled as a student in onlinecoursehost.com so let me take you there and again i'm going to go to manage students and here as i take you down you can see dummy new this particular user has been enrolled this basically means that our integration is a success at the same time if I take you to the email address of the person so let me show you let's go to spam and yes here you can see that we have received a mail as well regarding the Pebbly test course okay 
So this basically means that our integration is a success going back to Pabli Connect. Let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Facebook lead ads where the event was new lead and our action application was online course host.com where the event was enrolled student. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.